It's nothing new, honestly. Um, it's just, um, as of the past couple of weeks, it's just been uh, more frequent than normal. At Nolia's Kitchen, someone attempted to break in through a window on the side of the restaurant last Friday. They weren't able to get in. Cincinnati police released this photo of the person they believe was behind the damage. We just want a safer neighborhood, you know, not have any problems and be able to, like, make the wonderful food that we do. Goose and Elder has also been hit. Someone smashed through a door near the bar. They took a couple bottles of liquor, mostly vodka, but the amount of the liquor, the things that they're taking doesn't even add up to the cost of the window that they're breaking. Police also released this security camera video from a separate incident in the early morning hours of May 19th at a restaurant on Finley Street. It happened, unfortunately, we had a break in or a couple break ins back to back, hoping that, you know, the next couple months we don't see any more of that. Both chefs say they don't want the recent events to keep people from visiting OTR. I mean, yeah, you could break a window. It might cost us a few hundred bucks or whatever. Your gain isn't 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 worth what you're doing, you know? Because look what comes with what you're trying to do. Nothing really comes good at that. Chefs at both Nolia and Goose and Elder say it's disheartening to see this increase in vandalism as they work every day to be there for the people in the neighborhood. In Over the Rhine, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. And Cincinnati police are asking anyone with any information on the vandalism there at Nolia or any of the other recent incidents to call Crime Stoppers. You see the number there on your screen, 513-352-3040.